my mom literally decided to start mowing the lawn now. Okay. <coughs> but this is messing up my lighting crazy. Now I look super pale. Hey guys, so long time to see you again. I know I suck, but basically like my work has been scheduling me so much like 12 to like 8ish and then it's like not even going to lie. I don't wake up till like I have to go to work. Because I'm not going to wake up, at, I don't wake up at like 9 in the morning, I'm not a morning person. So I wake up, I go to work, and then by the time I am done with work, it's like dark outside, like super dark. So right now, I finally had a day off and I had to go do a bunch of crap, but it is 6 o'clock. The sun is about to go down, but it hasn't yet, so I was like, video. So, basically this is so, 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 so much stuff. Um, I have a lot of stuff from Ulta, a few like hand sanitizers from Meth and Body Works. And then, like, one trip to Forever 21. But I have, like, three different trips or four different trips to show you from Ulta. I'm going to start off with the stuff that's, like, really old and collective that I just, like, need to show you guys because it's, like, I haven't talked to you guys about it yet. So I, like, keep it in this bag and won't let myself put it in my makeup till I tell you guys about it. So it's, like, girl. Okay, so the first few things I got a while ago, but I still never showed them on my channel. So it's, like, I need to do this. First is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And I literally love this thing like oh my god it looks like this i'm sure you've seen it a million times i like really messed up these two shades and i'm really sad about it but it smells like chocolate <sighs> oh my god and if you're wondering this color my nails are ratchet so literally do not judge me but this one i think it's called marzipan it's like my favorite shade it's so pretty but i love this it smells like chocolate and literally it's like a really good investment because you get a lot of shadows and it's like cheaper than an Ika palette. I think it's like $44 so and it smells like chocolate like yes and then this one is a little bit more recent but you're going to be able to tell that I use this thing like crazy it's the Lorac Pro I was really stuck between there's this one the second one and then there's like a third one now and I don't like the second one it's really cool toned and I like warm toned shadows so I was really stuck between this and the third one but I went with this one because I thought the pigmentation was better. Like, guys, I've literally hit pan on one of the shadows, but I kept this thing in here until I showed it to you guys. Like, that's how ridiculous my life is. Okay. But anyway, this is what the palette looks like. You can tell I use a shade. It's literally the best transition shade, like, for any eyeshadow look. It doesn't matter. But basically, the top row is all matte. The bottom row is all shimmer. And my window's open, so sorry if you can, like, hear cars passing by. But it's so hot in here if I close my window there will be like no air flowing and I'll probably suffocate and die on camera so sorry if you can hear the cars but anyway I love this palette this shade nude is my favorite on the lid and then this shade mauve is like the best crease color it's perfect for a transition shade but that's what it looks like I'm sure you've seen it a million times but seriously 10 out of 10 highly recommend literally you can use every shade like you'll get so much use out of this thing shut up then this TARDIS lash paint mascara, I got this like a while ago, like when it first came out. Well, the first time I saw it, but it was seriously like probably a good month ago. And it was on sale because it was like kind of new. So they were like trying to get people to buy it. I'm ser I'm pretty sure I seriously paid like $12 for it. So I was like, yeah, I'll try it because the wand looked awesome. That's what it looks like. And again, I got on sale for like $12. It's probably like $20 normally. But I freaking love this mascara. Like I... If you know me, I'm a mascara junkie. It's, like, my favorite part of makeup. And I am not one to, like, buy high-end mascaras because, like, all the ones at the drugstore still make your eyelashes look amazing. But this is seriously so freaking good. I repurchased it. I'll show you in a minute. But I love this mascara. Then this highlighter, of course. I don't know why no one talks about Laura highlighters, but this thing is freaking amazing. This is in Daylight, and, like, it has this magnetic packaging. Like, it's so nice. But anyway... This is the color. This thing was literally like $22 or $24. Like, it wasn't like crazy. Like, I think the Becca ones are like $40. i am pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, this was like $22 and literally you get so much product and it's so pigmented. Like, literally that's what it looks like on your face. Like, do you see it literally glowing? Glowing. Like, this is amazing. I'm serious. If you've never tried Laura highlighters. Go to Ulta or Sephora, whatever, and, like, swatch these because they're amazing. <coughs> okay. And I was gone because I was super, super sick for, like, a solid two weeks. Like, I literally didn't go to work 
for like two weeks and I like almost got fired like it was that serious like I was actually sick like anyway now we're gonna go through this this is just literally like a million lip products so I'm going through this fast because it's ridiculous and this is really collective so these products are like older they're not as exciting to me Maybelline eye primer I just wanted to try it this buxom pen and ink like eyeliner because I always need new liquid eyeliners like the pen ones this is like all I use so I just got this one because I wanted to try a new one then this is amazing so I really have always wanted to try the NARS creamy concealer that everybody raves about but everyone says it's really similar to the Maybelline Fit Me one and I have that one and I love that one so like why would I want to fall in love with a more expensive one and like Ulta doesn't have NARS and I have to go to Sephora for it and the nearest Sephora is like almost an hour away from me so I go to Ulta I'm literally like I am super pale but I'm not this pale anyway Urban Decay Naked Skin I decided to try this one and I freaking love it it's so good this is in light warm and it's awesome I love it so yeah okay now we have a bunch of lip products I'm going through these really fast oh this was in here this is like a little Lorac primer that comes with the palette literally look how pale I look okay all right we're gonna go through this fast I'm not swatching all these because I have so much stuff to show you guys you do not understand okay okay five butter lipsticks I got rip your float summer fruits west coast um taffy which I freaking love this one and then sweet tart which is like the perfect berry love it Okay, then we have two of these matte lipsticks. I don't really buy these, but yeah. This one, oh my god, I have to rant about this. Okay, this is in Shocking Pink, and this one is in Sweet Pink. That's what this one looks like. Look at this shit, seriously. Okay, so this is what the lipstick looks like, right? Right? Wrong. Do you see this, like, defined line? And it's like, this is how the packaging is, and it has a wrapper on it. So you think the color's like this, and then you take the lipstick off, and it's like, bitch, you thought, like, I was like, what? Anyway, then, I think I got two soft matte lip creams, and the rest are those butter thingies. Yeah, two soft matte lip creams. This is San Paolo and Prague. And then these are those, um... Intense Butter Glosses. I got four of them. I got Toasted Marshmallow, which I freaking love this one. Funnel Delight and Spice Cake, because I seriously used to wear these, like, every day in my, like, junior year. I would always switch between Funnel Delight and Spice Cake. Like, these were my go-tos, and I have no idea what happened to those, so I was like, I need to buy these again. Oh, this is Odyssey Abada something. It's a soft matte lip cream. I left that one out. Then I got this Tardis lip paint, and I got a million more of these more recently but they're glossy lip paints because these are you know how the whole like matte thing is in like this is just like I can't do it this is too matte so that's the color it's in TBT and I just I can't do it it's too matte I do really like this color though I have the one namaste and it's like way too nude it looks disgusting on me this one is better but I just don't like the super 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 matte stuff like I don't know. I do like this color, though. I thought this was the other one. This one's really pretty. Namaste it looks terrible on me. Then I got these two things, like, I feel like three months ago, like, but I got them when they were new. They're the Tarte Lip Sculptors, and it's, like, a lipstick and a lip gloss, so this one is Sass, and basically this is the lipstick, and the lip gloss matches, like, really good on these, which is nice. They're not very off. This one is Voltage, so you can see the gloss and then the lipstick. So they actually match, which is good. And I like these. The lipsticks are super moisturizing. Like, you don't need to put on a chapstick before, which is, like... Okay. Then Bath & Body Works. Really quick. I need to just, like, go through this. I got my mom hand sanitizers for her birthday. And then I just got three for me. This is Pumpkinberry Crumble. Cool Coconut Colada and Coconut Pumpkin Latte. Okay. Now we're going to go into... Okay. We'll do this old stuff. So this is, like, right after my birthday, which was September 24th. I'm 17 now. Yeah, okay. Anyway. And the only thing I got for my birthday was, like, gift cards and money. That's why I didn't do, like, a 17th birthday thing. But I did get this. This was the only other thing that was, like, 
a thing I could show and my mom got it for me because I told her I wanted this foundation or the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever. And they were out of it, so she got me this. So then, I went back after my birthday, and they were still out of that palette. Because I was like, I really want these two. Whatever one you don't get me, I'll just go buy the other one. They're still out of it. I cried. Anyway, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation in 2.0. And I really wanted to try this because I cannot get myself to spend however much it costs on the setting spray. Because it's like, I can't get myself to spend that much money on something that doesn't like drastically change my makeup like it's just something I'm spraying on my face so I was like oh this is the all nighter foundation like that's a good idea so I bought it in the pa or no I got it for my birthday and I love the packaging so yeah that's what I got for my birthday that I could actually show you guys so I was like I'll just throw it in here okay then this is stuff I actually bought now this freaking thing was literally $34 like isn't that super good for Urban Decay like thing okay so it's the Naked Skin one and done hybrid complexion perfector and that's spf 20 this is in the shade light and i freaking love this thing first off look at the packaging i love it i love it i'm wearing it today so it's like this right Ooh, it has a pump oh my god i was like i love this like you know how easy a pump just makes everything like it's so nice and then once this is all done you can seriously just screw this out and since it's a tube like you can squeeze it and get every last drop out of this thing so I love this. Seriously. Love it. Okay. This is the little birthday thing from Ulta. Girl, if you are like a thing at Ulta and it's like your birthday month, you need to go get this because it's a full-size Urban Decay eyeshadow. Like, usually they give you a gift for your birthday and it's like a little sample of a lip gloss or something. This is a full-size Urban Decay eyeshadow for free for your birthday. Like, it's in Midnight Cowboy and it's really pretty. I'm wearing it on my lid today. It looks like this. And it's really pretty. It's kind of glittery, which I hate glitter, but it was free. And it's actually pretty on the eyes, so yeah, go Ulta. And then I got this just because I wanted it. It's this Essence All About Bronze little palette. Then I got, I thought I got two Essence lipsticks. Other ones probably in there. This is in Cool Nude. I just kind of wanted to get this. I don't know. I felt like it. I thought it looked cool. Then I got a new beauty blender because this is just like so needed and I thought this one looked really freaking cool so I bought it. And then this is this TARDIS. It was like, you know, like at the register, like all the little mini things that just like suck you in while you're waiting. Yeah. So it's like a little duo and it was like, it was only $12. So I was like, yeah. And basically it comes with a lip paint and then the newer thing which is a glossy lip paint so it's not as drying. So this is the lip paint, and then this is the glossy lip paint. And it was $12. I thought they were cute, okay? So I bought it. Then, now we have a bunch of stuff to go through. Okay. This is just stuff I needed to, um, I ran out of. Like, I had no powders. I have one L'Oreal powder right now. One powder. I'm not, like, a crazy into powder person. I just use one, finish it, and get a new one. So I have a L'Oreal one right now, and it's, like, almost gone. So I picked up the Maybelline Fit Me. And the cover girl already said gorgeous because I need a new powder. I love this concealer. I'm wearing it right now. This is like my everyday concealer. Like just when I just need something quick. It's the Rimmel Match Perfection. It's amazing. This thing is seriously like five bucks and I freaking love it. It's like a rediscovered product. I was obsessed with it forever ago. Used it the other day. Used it all up. Got a new one. Love it. And then this is the cover girl already said gorgeous. Concealer for under your eyes. And I have this and it's too dark for me because I'm pale AF. Yeah. Okay. Then I got one of these thingies, you know, that's like a mirror and like a brush because mine broke. Like these two pieces are like no longer together. So I got this Essence All About Nudes one. Yeah, okay. Um, yes, I was so excited about this. So I really, really, really wanted the freaking Tarte, like, you knew the new Tarte concealer that's like giant. I really wanted that new Tarte concealer and they only had like two shades and they were like the very darkest shades and like look at me. So this one looked kind of similar, so I wanted to try it. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer in Fair. And I have not used it yet, but I will keep you guys posted. I'm really excited. I haven't heard anyone talk about this, so I was like, I want to try it. Oh, this is that other Essence lipstick I couldn't find. This is in Long Lasting. Okay, then I literally got a million of these things, so I need to like go through them right now literally okay 
Yes. This is it. Okay. This is it. I hate myself. Okay. So basically, I got four. Are these all the same thing? Are you serious? Oh my god. I got five of these Tarte Lip Lippy Lingerie. These are new. And they're basically just like a matte tint. So I was excited. And this video is really long. So I'm literally just going to show you the top of them and the shade. So there's Pure Exposed Whisper Undressed in Envy. This is what they look like. Okay. And this one, just so you can see what the packaging looks like. I just don't have time to swatch everyone. This is what the packaging looks like. And I really, really like them. So yeah, those are nice. I really recommend. Love those. And then this is the Tardis Lip Paint, which, no, Glossy Lip Paint, which I like because it's not as drying because the lip paints are just like too much for me. So this is in Double Tap. And it looks like this. I really like it. It's pretty. I like the gold. It looks super nice. Yes, and I love this. Okay, it's more pinky in person, I swear. It looks like purple brown, but it doesn't look like that. And I don't look like this freaking pale. My lighting sucks right now because it's like trying to get dark outside and I'm like, no, I need to film a video. Anyway, love that. Okay, then... Oh, fudge, I have another one. This is the Glossy Lip Paint in Goals. Forgot I got this one. I'm sorry, I still have to go to Forever 21. Like, I have so much crap to show. Um, this is Goals. I already said that. And this one's way more of, like, a peachy pinky one. Ah! Love. Okay, then, every single freaking time I went to Ulta, I really wanted these NYX lingerie things, and they were out every single time. One day I went, and they had all of them, so, like, I got all of them. Not really, but anyway. They're basically, like, the super trendy, like, matte lip thing, but the lingerie line, they're all, like, nudie pink colors. So, basically, that's, yeah, that's the point of it. So, okay. I got corset, satin ribbon, push up, if you can see these, I'm sorry if you can't, lace detail, ruffle trim, which is my favorite, and then this one's really dark, this is Teddy, but this one is my favorite, it's ruffle trim, and this is what the applicator looks like, it's really skinny. And they're super, super pigmented, and they dry super matte and literally last hours. Like, these are amazing. If you haven't tried them, you need to try them. If you like the whole matte thing, these are really inexpensive, and they seriously last so long. So long. Okay, then this is the NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. I wanted to try this because um, I liked it, but I haven't opened it yet, so I can't swatch it. Um, another Essence Lipstick. This is in Natural Beauty. I thought I got two. I guess I got three. Okay, then, Tardis Lash Paint. I told you I was obsessed with this, so I got another one. And then this little Urban Decay Revolutionary Lip Gloss Duo. It has the color Liar and Anarchy. I don't have time to swatch this. I just thought it looked cool. Last thing. Then to Forever 21. This is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. Look how beautiful this is. I've never seen, like nicer looking packaging ever like this is literally so beautiful like oh my god it has a giant mirror it comes with this little double-sided brush but not one of those like cheap you know like a nice like double-sided brush that comes in like a naked palette and all the colors are matte every single one I like that they're all super wearable but there's still some purpley tones orangey blue but they're all like still super wearable and they're all matte which is great if you want something really neutral i like to wear a shimmer on my lid and then everything else be matte so look, the packaging the packaging like so beautiful Ugh. okay now for 21 and then i'm done i promise no i'm lying i forgot about this if you couldn't tell i'm obsessed with all these tart lip paints lip gloss paint things so okay anyway this lighting is disgusting but anyway i got these and it's like they're all just little Tardis lip paints, and I don't know all the different shades in here, but basically it was only $42 for all of these, and you get eight of them, like, I thought it was nice, and they're mini, which is perfect, because if you watch my back to school video, my purse is really small now, so I was like, this is perfect, 
like all like love these and they're little I can put them in my purse and reapply them really easy so I love this I was so excited about it okay can't believe I almost forgot now we have forever 21 I'm not doing a try on just because the majority of this was clothes um, I guess I got a pair of gray leggings. You can never have too many of these. So, a pair of gray leggings. Then this shirt. I got a lot of basics, let me tell you. So, this was only $8.90, and basically it's just a black t-shirt, but it's ribbed, if you can see that. And it's just a really nice, like, stretchy, comfy material, and it's a normal length. Like, I swear, every shirt now is cropped, and if it's not cropped, it's like, you know how every school, if you want to wear leggings, your shirt has to be, like, a dress? It's like every shirt is either cropped or like ridiculously long that it's supposed to pass your butt and then it ends up going to like my ankles. Not my ankles, I meant my knees. That was really dramatic. This video is so long, I hate myself. I have six minutes left on my memory card. Anyway, this was only $8.90 and I love it, it's perfect. And then I got the same one and this beautiful mauve blush pink color. I freaking love it. This is perfect. This one I can wear with obviously jeans but I can wear it with like colored jeans or colored leggings like army green maroon and then this one would look good with black leggings or any jeans so it's like I love this color and it was $8.90 so yes girl then this shirt is really weird it was only $8.90 but I like it and it's weird like it's a super deep V but I just thought it would look so cute with high-waisted jeans I don't know how to describe it but like look like this is what it looks like like it's a bunch of little squares it looks like it's like knitted but this is messing up my lighting crazy but it's a really deep V but like it isn't that dramatic when it's on you know what I mean and I figured I'd wear it with a really pretty bla black lace bralette so yeah then I got this tank top in a million colors I hate myself whenever I like something I buy it in every single color if you know me like oh my god so first off these tank tops were basically it's like just a tank top but it's ribbed if you can see and like normally I feel like this would be like 980 okay and it was only 490 so that's why I got it in every color but you can't tell on here you kind of can it has a really square neckline like it's really weird when I tried it on but I still kind of liked it but it has a really square neckline but anyway they're just little ribbed tank tops, if you can tell. So I got it in white, I got it in black, so I could wear these with colored stuff and like colored cardigans over them. And then, just since I really like this shirt, I got these two colors because they're perfect for fall and they were only $4.90. So army green, this is like every girl's favorite color, like I love this color. And then this color was just screaming fall to me, so I had to get it. And it's just like this burnt orange color. It looks really red on camera, but it's more orange. But I love it, and again, they're just ribbed, and they have that really, like, square neckline. But they were $4, so I bought them. This was the most expensive thing I got. It was $19.90, and it's a flannel. I really wanted to get a new flannel on this trip. Like, that was my goal. And this flannel, I was so happy because it's, like, long, but it isn't that really annoying long where it's, like, to cover your butt, and then, it like, I'm really short. So it ends up going to, like, almost my knees in the back, and it looks really weird. So I was like, thank you, this is perfect. And I decided to get the black and white one again so I could wear it with my maroon or army green leggings or I have a pair of like red colored jeans. So I figured I would get the black and white one just because I can wear it with anything, you know. So I love this and it's a really nice, it's not a super like thin flannel material that doesn't even feel like flannel. It's like, girl, it's nice. It's nice quality. Then I only have a few things left, I swear. Okay. Same thing, obviously I got into different colors, you know me. These were literally $10.90, and they're like cropped hoodies, and I seriously love this trend. I love, 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 love this trend because it's so comfy. It's literally a hoodie, but it looks so cute. Like, anyway, this one I got in a medium because, like, I wanted it to be, like, I didn't want it to be as cropped because I kind of don't want to have to wear high-waisted pants with it, so I got it in, like, a bigger size, but, like, it'll still look really cute with high-waisted stuff, you know what I mean? So yeah, I got it in this like charcoal gray color. And then of course, they had this color, so I had to get it. This is like my favorite color ever, like maroon. Love it. So yeah, it's just a little crop hoodie and it's really cute and I really like it. So yeah, and these were literally only 10.90. These were the only two colors I would have gotten every color, but 
I like this because this is gray. It's neutral. I can wear with anything. And then this is just my favorite freaking color ever. And it's perfect for fall, especially since it's getting colder out. Like, yes. So, that was this haul. Sorry it was so freaking long. Sorry it's getting dark out and the lighting was disgusting this entire video. But I've seriously had this stuff sitting in my room for an ungodly amount of time waiting to film a video. And I finally didn't have to work until it was dark out. So, I was like video so i hope you guys enjoyed sorry it was really long and there was a lot of stuff but this was seriously so collective like the ulta stuff is seriously like months like this is collective like no i'm not like like girl how do you afford this like girl this is like how much my life is worth okay like no i did not go out and buy all this in one day in no way heck no okay so i hope you enjoyed sorry it was really long leave a request down below because they're literally always needed and I love you guys so much. And subscribe so you can become best friends, okay? Alright, um. I guess this video is over. Okay, love you guys. Bye.